Hello guys, this is Virendra Singh and good evening to everyone. In the previous one video where we learned about that how we can create a simulation, we show you the simulation for that one component where we learn show you all the operations that are required to produce that one complete part and in this video we will teach you how we can set up job setup and after that we will show you how you can create the tool path for the left hand spender there are the various kind of tool path that you will learn and the one of the most important thing that is the in a Milton that is the job setup that you will also learn in this one video so before starting to work on this project let we have to open again a fresh model for this one so this is my fresh model for that one component or that one project now we have to follow step by step that what are the steps that we have to do to complete the machining of this model so for that one first I would like to show uh, open the WCS work coordinate system for that one card after that I have to go in a machine I have to go in a Milton and always make sure that in that one condition we are choosing this machine that is called a double spindle machine and that is available in the Mastercam 2023 free of cost you can go and choose a Fanuc lathe double spindle and just have to click on this once you click on this there is now new window is blinking right at here and in this window there are the few things are available that's the main important or we can say the heart of Milton that always we have to choose all the parameters in a perfect way if you are good in this to choose these parameters in a perfect way you will be going to be expert programmer of Mastercam Milton so let we have to understand that what are the different operations or what are the different options are available and what we have to choose the values the first thing is work piece work holding that how my work is going to be holding it will holding on the left side spindle or on the right side in spindle in the left and right side spindle if you want to make some changes for the check size or the jaw size you can just click on a double click on this and you can make the changes as per the needed after that the next thing is a work study if you want to make some added some study rest you can click on here and add the study rest right at here and after that the setup type that's the main and most important thing that we have to always choose it properly if for this one machine we are we have to start to work on the left side spindle first and after that we have to make the part handling and make it on a right side so that thing that is the important thing that you always have to keep in mind if you don't watch the simulation video you will never understanding about that how it is going to be work and if you don't understand that thing I just explain you in a multiple times but you get nothing to understand so that's the thing that we have to uh, uh, let we have to learn about the job setup type in a setup type we have the two options that how my workpiece have to be uh, clamping in initial that is left spindle or right hand spindle we have to choosing for this time left hand spindle and how my part is going to be hand part handling have to be work so that time I just say that single piece of stock what is the meaning of this that I have a single piece of stock and that once machining on this half of piece the right hand spindle have to be came pick up my work piece and it will take to the right hand spindle so these are the multiple options are available in the last one video we learned about that this one the single piece of stock no pick up that we always use if you want to make the machining or entire machining on the left hand spindle or right hand spindle only if you want to make part handling without cut off or anything so in that condition we have to choose the pick off that's the main important thing and that the work piece that we have a single uh, bar for a one piece size so that's why we always choose a single piece of stock if you have a continuous bar so you can choose a continuous bar but for this one we have to choose a single piece of stock after that we have to came on a left side spindle that we have to define the part and all these things so we have to click on the left side spindle where we have to defining the part geometry where is my part I have to click on part geometry and just select this one so once I select this so my part geometry is getting to be selected after that I have to defining or creating a turn profile the turn profile is always important for us when we have to go in to create the tool path or selection that time that is the important for us so we have to always keep it on the turn profile and in 
the turn profile in which level and color you want to add we can just click on here and you can add it on after that we have to came on the next option that is called bar stop the bar stop means the area where we have to define the raw material values and all these things so right at here we can define in the raw in a raw material you can defining the which kind of raw material is available we have a bar stock revolved stock a solid stock or stl file you can defining with the different options for that one option we have a bar stock so we are defining the bar stock what is the outer diameter and if you want to add some extra material with the outer diameter the outer diameter is automatically defining with the from the master cam one side click a solid model so it automatically detect all these things and added after that i have to click on a extra stock so that's 1 mm after that i have to choose the face stock and the back stock the face stock is 1 mm and the back side stock is 1 mm so that's the both side things that we added right at here the face stock is 1 and back side stock is 1 mm after that we have to came in the next step is called tool plane in a tool plane we have to defining that where is my offset is done the x y z offset where i just defining so right at here for this one work piece we are defining the wcs just on this one face and after that i have to click on here stick out what is the meaning of stick out stick out means this is my work piece and how much work piece is going to be out from the spindle that is called stick out so that's the total length we have to defining right at here so i just have to click on this and i can just select like this point so my uh chuck or i can say my jaw have to be clamping from this one point and this material will be outside from the workpiece so all these things that we have to do in the left side spindle and after that i have to came on a right side spindle in the right side spindle we have we have to also defining the wcs where the wcs is going to be taken so wcs or the we can say work of work offset that is calculated from this one position so that is the thing that the work origin both values should be the different and after that we have to came on a pick off what is the meaning of pick off when my right hand spindle will be came and it will pick or my work piece so that time from which position on from the area where my tool is work piece is going to be holding that's the position called pick up so we have to defining that position so i just have to click on here and i just say nearest i just have to click on this or i want to make changes so i can just click again uh, relative just click on this and i can say 1 mm distance from this point Okay, I would like to choose again the nearest. I can zoom and just define this point and just say okay. So that's the all these things we are successfully created right at here. As you can see here, as you can see here, this is my stock. and how much area it is going to be holded right at here and right at here this is my stock and how much how is it is going to be holded so that's the thing that how we are going to create it right at here so that's all about that how we can set up the jobs uh, job setup on a milton machine and that's a very important factor that we have to always keep in mind when we have to work on a milton machine so in this video we learn about all each and everything about the job setup So in the next one video we will learn about that how we can create a tool path on a left side spindle and after that we will also learn about that how we can create tool path on a right hand spindle so thank you so for thank you so much for watching this video so see you in the next video with the new tool paths